Hey, and what is going on YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing you uh, an FSX video. And um, this is Devin Shelton here. I just created this new account. And uh, I'm going to be showing you a lot new FSX stuff. And, uh, sorry, I'm having to do this my, with my iPad. And uh, I'm a own little FSX setup here. Got my yoke system, my rotor pedals, and everything. And, uh, and I just created this new account. I'm going to show you all how this downloads all the way to the All you have to do is go to the country website like So I use it all the time. Just make an account, it's really easy, uh, easy and simple. And then all you got to do is just. Go to your files because it's going to download it onto your files. I thought it would download it onto the desktop, but it's going to download it into your files. And uh, it's going to download it into your files. And it's, this is going to pop up. And then just go to your desktop and it'll be right there. And then just move that out into your desktop menu. And once you have that done, just simply go to it, double click on it. And it'll pop up saying REX4, and it'll make that thunder noise. And um, I never understood how to get it from this onto FSX, but I finally found out, and that's why I want to make this YouTube video to help you all that don't really quite understand it. So I had this right here. Uh, all you have to do is just go to this configure configuration manager, just click on that. And this will pop up, and it'll say all your stuff and everything. Just go to browse and go to your FSX files, and then just create a name. Just make up any name and hit create. And once you do that, you have to go through all this stuff. Make sure you have your weather engine on a uh, standard mode. Once you have that done, just go through all this. Just go through all this and do all this right here. And once you have that done, your options have been saved automatically when you get to the last step. So, with that being said, all you have to do is just go to your weather. I have mine under real weather system. Real weather. And uh, just type in your own air, uh, airport ID. If you don't know an airport ID, I suggest... Um, what is it? Uh, it's... K D uh man I forgot it my bad. Sorry about that. Well I know one that really works. It's uh T N O eight T N zero eight. And all you have to do is just have that done like that. Just type it in onto this little box right here and then hit search. And this other little bug is gonna come up. Type that. Then you type in the same number. T N zero eight and then once you had that done just hit search and uh just hit search and it'll come up right there your airport id will come up just hit that and just hit cancel right here and then it'll come up and it'll say t no eight in that box and then you can go to uh the weather system you have to set the weather system up but since i already done it won't let me go back to it but you have to set this weather system up right here, and uh, that's why I had trouble with the most. And with once you had that, I don't have my flight simulator running right now. But once you had that done, all you have to do is just click submit, uh, submit, uh, submit. Ah, uh, sorry, I, I have trouble pronouncing words. Uh, submit or something, and uh, I mean it's just really simple. And all you gotta do before you do that, my bad. Before you do that. Just go over here, and uh, I've already saved FSX1, and the and you have all these textures right here. You have the runway textures. I suggest runway four. It is very amazing. It makes it look so much more real. And uh, with that being said, it's the REX East, uh, Essential Plus Overdrive HD. You can get it off of any trusted store. Uh, FS Pilot Shop, it lets you instant download and a uh, disc, too, in case you lose the download. 
and uh, that's pretty much it. And uh, once you go over here to the manager, um, not the manager, go over here to weather, click that again. Uh, my bad, it was the manager. Uh, once you go through all this stuff, hit save and just click a, uh, a name that you want it to be. And then go over here and you'll find that name right here and uh, you'll be good to go. And uh, that's why it's really important to set up the manager so that way you have all this and then once you do it, it'll instantly download it onto Flight Simulator X or any other flight simulator that you have and then uh, when I do I just click I want to fly and uh, oh my bad I don't want to do that and then as soon as I click I want to fly it'll automatically start up my flight simulator X and you can just X off of that and minus this and you bring up your FSX and then all you gotta do is just go to the airport ID and type in TN08 you don't have to do that. It just has to be the airport ID that you had under it. And then this is in Oak, uh, Oak Ridge. Uh, Oliver Springs, Tennessee. Because uh, I lived in Tennessee for a long time. And uh, let's just go to daytime here. And uh, track. No, let's keep it on the track. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean... It's just really simple once you get it. I mean, it's well worth the money. Trust me, it's really worth it. Um, yeah, trust me. I mean, it's like one of the best things I could have ever downloaded. I just, I just, it just blew me away when I first downloaded it. I mean, literally, it was just amazing. Go ahead and take off little quick flight here for y'all I'm doing this with one hand so it's kind of difficult so and uh yeah there's Oliver Springs like I said uh, me and my dad we used to be a member and uh, it was just awesome so yeah that's pretty much it make sure clouds look amazing and you can always change them that's why they put those textures there so Hope this video helped you all, and hope uh, to see you soon once I make another video. So, alrighty, and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm gonna go ahead and land this here for you all. Just gonna go back here. And so, yeah, I mean, REX is just worth it. I mean, it's only forty-four dollars 